today is October 24th. So in nine days, you know, this will probably be out by then. There's the Hot Boys reunion at Louisiana Fest. Am I saying it right? Louisiana Fest? Uh, yeah, Louisiana Fest. Louisiana yeah. Fest. So this is supposed to be the actual Hot Boys reunion, reunion. with everyone. With, with Wayne, Manny Fresh, Turk, mm. BG, Lil Bird Wayne, Man, Birdman. Yeah. Like, Juvie. Juvie. But guess what else they doing? What's that? After the concert, after the get-together, the reunion, Birdman and BG having an after party. Manny Fresh and Juvie and Turk having an after party. Except the same night. What's wrong with that? Well, it's strength and numbers, so if they'd have came together in one club, it'd have been a lot better. But now you got these guys separate, so it's showing now a division again. Well, I mean, Turk has always kind of been on, you know, out of the good graces of, of Birdman for a while, right? Mm -hmm. You know, listen, you, you talked last time, we talked about the whole thing of, mm -hmm. you know, Turk recording my phone call. And uh, you said if I, you know, would I forgive him? And I said, uh, well, if he apologized publicly, I would forgive him. He hasn't done it, so well, we are he, where we are. <laughs> but once he, once he publicly apologized, so you gonna go back to interviewing him again? Yeah, I would do that. Oh. Yeah, I'd do another interview with him. And we could talk about it on, on. on camera. Listen, if you ever had a chance on Netflix, there's a documentary called Mr. McMahon. It's about Vince McMahon, you know, the owner of WWE. Mm -hmm. You familiar with him? Mm -hmm. Did you watch the documentary? Mm -hmm. No, 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 I never watched it, but I'm okay. familiar with him. The one thing I learned from watching this, you got to understand this guy runs a billion-dollar company, right? WWE. And he would have lots of wrestlers go through his, his system. You know, he's been running this for, what, 30, 40 years, something like that. So certain wrestlers, they'd get fired or they would quit. They'd go and talk all this shit about McMahon, call him all types of nasty names. They would sue him and win. A lot of the people that did that, years later, he'd bring him back on, pay him, and he would even include the lawsuit into the storyline of the whole wrestling match. Because for him, it's just business. Okay, you talk shit, and you sued me. All right, who cares? Is there money to be made here? If there's money to be made, I don't care what you said about me. I don't care that you sued me and got a few dollars. I'm going to make some more money off you, and I'm going to put some money in your pocket, and we can be cool again, or we can not be cool again. So what? It's just business. I learned a lot from watching that. In fact, there was some guy, one of my regular guests who you haven't seen on my show in like, Man, probably close to 10 years, me and him got on the phone and we worked it out and he's going to be back on Vlad TV soon. We just couldn't do it last time um, that we were planning it because he had some, a bunch of stuff going on. But, mm -hmm. you know, you got to learn and evolve, man. It's, it's, a, it's not always about your feelings. We're here to make money. We don't have to be best friends. We don't have to hang out afterwards. Facts. Pay me. I, we did, I did my job. Got to go. There you go. I, I know one thing. Um, With this reunion, they're going to do a, a team city Hot boy tour. So Wait, that's actually happening? Yeah. Oh, okay. I didn't know that. Man, they're going to do the tour. They all oh, that's about to go down. So, you know, they're going to be feeling like every cocky too. Because, you know, when you start getting that money, people putting money you travel, now you're going to feel like, nah, I'm, I need this. I want this. So, I don't know, man. Um, Are you going to show up to any of those shows? No. Why not? Because I feel like, yeah, I was behind that. I protect them in the streets. I made sure they was good. Not just me, the other hot boys too. I can't go from being muscle, being a brain, being, you know, somebody that y'all depend on, linked on, to coming to being a fan. Like, hmm. that's that's what it make me like, how I look like, hey, I'm T Turk, BG, what? Man, I'm the one they rap about. Think about it. But you're not just a fan. You are. But it's gonna make me feel like you're that. part of the story. Yeah, but I'm not up there with them. But you were never really up there with them as an artist, anyways. True, but I was there with the story. But every time BG performed, I would go on the stage because the people knew who Gangsta was. When he performed, got a holler at Gangsta, Hot Boy, Hold to Kill, I'm on that stage. So, so you're saying 
if after you leave this interview, BG calls you and said, listen, Weezy at a fest in a week and a half. I want you to come and I'm going to bring you on stage during that song. You would say no? No, I'm gone. But what I'm saying is they don't, they not, they don't invite oh, me. Oh, okay. So since you haven't gotten that phone call, right. you're not just going to show up and be in the crowd. Right. Like, That's what I'm saying. <laughs> no, it, man, come on, man. Like how Safari my... showed up to Nicki Minaj's show yes. in the crowd. And everyone was like, I lose my ghetto license, man. <laughs> I'm not doing it. You're not no. doing that. No, man. <laughs> I can't do that. No, no, no. I just can't. It just, no. Listen, BG, Birdman, these are two... The two people that I talked to, Turk, call him Gangster. Call him Gangster, send him, send him some VIP, you know what I mean, VIP passes, Eminem, bring him I, on stage. Yeah. Let's, let's yeah. do it right. Let's have a, let's have a real reunion. There's no other hot boys out right now. You know what I'm saying? Everyone else passed away. You're the last real hot boy. Do it right. Yeah, you know, put, put, the, put the final bow on this hot boys reunion. That'd be big. But they're not because Bird care about what with the, with the other people going to say. He cared about what other people going to, his image. He cared about what people going to say about him. So they're going, they're going, they're not going to put their pride to the side. And I get, I understand. I'm not tripping, but you can't erase history.